Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you or telling you how to find rowboats and how to dock them to your ship. Okay, so rowboats were introduced into Forsaken Shores and I've come along over here at Cutlass K and I have found myself a rowboat. So basically the rowboats, like I say, are a new thing for Forsaken Shores and they can be found literally on any island. I've had more success personally on the smaller islands rather than the big ones, uh, but they can be found on any island. So don't think it's a myth that because they're part of Forsaken Shores uh, and they are used uh, they're very good for using on Forsaken Shores, obviously to avoid the volcanic eruptions that they're only going to spawn in those areas. That is not true at all. As you can see, there is one here at Cutlass K. So I'm going to try and do this the first time round without making any mistakes because I personally have had a little bit of trouble with doing this part. The part I'm going to talk to you about next is how to dock it to your ship. So it's okay finding it. How do you dock it to your ship? Let's take a little bit of damage there, fantastic. So yeah, once you've found your rowboat, uh, I'm going to show you now how to dock the rowboat to your boat. Uh, you can do this with sloops, galleons and brigantines, it doesn't matter what size they are, they all work in the same method. Uh, so if you find that you can't get it out of the water, you will normally get a command depending on what you're playing on mine, it's uh, Y and it will say push the rowboat and then it will push into water and then you should be able to row it. You have the sit in the rowboat and you can also open a chest and put things inside and then you have use oars. Um, to use these you have to use the triggers on the con Xbox controller, I'm not too sure what it is on the PC, uh, but left trigger obviously uses the left arm, will turn you left or right and the right tr trigger will do this, the opposite, it will take you to the left depends on which way you're facing because you sit with your back to it and I obviously I turn mine around like this so it's facing forward and it's just so much easier to to figure out that way for me anyway uh, you hold them both together if you want to if you want to go forward now this is the bit I was talking about I find them really awkward to steer I mean I've overshot this like massively uh, and what you need to do to dock to your ship is actually park it at the back and then you put, wow look how far I've overshot this, uh, you park it to the back and then there is a command to dock it to your ship. Well, like I say, I have trouble doing this and I've never done it on solo either. Normally your your other crew members would stand on the back of your ship and you'd dock it for you. So I'm going to see if there's a way to do this on solo. Stop, 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 stop. Right, let's see if there's any commands. Uh, point to the back of the ship. There you go, look. We point to the back of the ship while on the rowboat and we press and hold. And voila, we have it now docked to our ship. You can even jump through there. So yeah, you can do it on your own as well, but like I say, on a bigger ship, you kind of get you get one of your crewmates to stand on this part here at the back, and then it pops up with a prompt once they get close in, and then you can dock it up, and you're away to go. Uh, so that is how you find them. You can find them on any islands. Like I say, I've had more success on the smaller islands, and to dock it, you need to be at the back of your ship, and. I, th I think I see a video with the brigantine that was at the side, but I'm not too sure. I can only count for the brigantine, uh, uh, the galleon, sorry, it might be the side. Uh, I can only count for the sloop and the brigantine because they're the only two I've tried so far. Uh, like I say, you put it at the back of your ship and there should be a prompt when on the rowboat to then dock it to your ship. And then you can take it away and avoid some of that volcanic damage. So hopefully this has been a helpful video for you today. If it has been, then do consider liking sharing, commenting and subscribing. Have a great rest of your voyages guys and take care.